Welcome to another video. A walk on the wild side, and I am here in Blackpool. I am in Stanley Park. Yes, check it out, Stanley Park. Just behind me, we've got the the Parks Cafe there. Yeah, 1926 is when Stanley Park opened to the public. I just want to show you quickly, show you the Italian gardens. Yeah, so these are the Italian gardens here at Stanley Park, the centerpiece of Stanley Park. Opened in 1926. These were designed by Thomas Mawson, according to the, the sign here. Amazing. Okay, so we've had a little look at Stanley Park. We'll have a look at a bit more as we go along, but this video is all about the last video that I uploaded to YouTube. If you look for it, you're not gonna find it because it's gone. <laughs> YouTube wiped it off, they took it down. Um, yeah, because it contained, I think it contained words in there that were misinformation according to YouTube's guidelines. I had a, um, an email sent to me. The, the video was up from, it was up from um, Sunday, Sunday evening from seven o'clock and it was up until about, probably about 10 o'clock this morning as I filmed this video, Monday morning. And it had about 7,000 views. And it was a video about, it was called The Mass Awakening in Lytham, on Lytham Green. And it was all people with sort of alternative viewpoints and all that sort of thing. And um, there was a disclaimer in it. This disclaimer was just for me, just to make sure people didn't have a pop at me for, for talking to, you know, for thinking that I shared all their views. So I'll put a disclaimer in, not for YouTube, the disclaimer. But anyway, the video, I let people talk in it. I let a few people talk. I went into a tent, I spoke to a few people. And eventually I spoke to a guy called David Alderman. And apparently it's something that he said when he was talking to me, something flagged up. Misinformation was, was mentioned and the video was taken down. And I have been given a, a warning. I still can upload videos as normal because you, you're seeing this one right now. But because I've got this warning, if I was to put another video up which contains, say, similar sort of wording or, or you know something like that or I went against the guidelines I would then get a strike and if I was to get a strike I believe I would be banned for a week so I want to try and avoid that if I can so I'm going to try and toe the line a little bit but uh, let me know what you think if you saw the video if you saw the video let me know in the comments if there was anything about that video anything about anybody said that you think meant that the video deserved to be taken down because on youtube there are all sorts of videos that you can see so many controversial videos on youtube right now that you can look at many if they're not controlled by ofcom or any like that's so much stuff that you can see on youtube that you would never ever see on mainstream tv and that's why i quite like youtube now it's their platform of course now youtube is owned by google and um the channel is monetized, of course, and I, I do make money from the, from the videos. So I don't want to um, get banned. I don't want to get banned for a week or anything like that. I have had videos. Funny enough, I have had videos. Now, I do a lot of controversial, or I have done in the past. I don't do as many as what I used to, but I have done some videos that are a little bit controversial. I covered the red light district a few times in Blackpool. One of those videos was, um, in fact, a couple of those videos, when I uploaded them, when you upload a video to YouTube, you have to sort of tick these boxes. Does it, um, is it safe for this? Is it safe for that? That sort of thing. So the advertisers, safe for advertising on basically. And um, I had a couple of them that I had to appeal against because they were, they, they didn't get the green, you're looking for a, a green dollar symbol. If you don't get the green dollar symbol, if you get a yellow dollar symbol, when your video's uploaded, it means that Basically, you don't make any money from, from the adverts. They might put adverts on it, but you won't make any money from it. So you want to get your videos monetized and you used to be able to do it. In fact, they used to do it, but now it's kind of done by the creator. So you tick all the boxes and you say, yes, 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 it passes all that, passes all that. And if it doesn't, then um, obviously they can take it down themselves, you know, um, which is what they have done with that video. But if it happens a few times, you could get into trouble because you're saying that your video's okay, it ticks these boxes, but YouTube is saying it doesn't. Now, what happened with this video, 
at the weekend, the lid and video actually passed the AI test. And I looked through the boxes and I went onto the wall. I don't normally do this, but when I normally upload a video, I normally just check all of them. All fine, no problem at all. But this one, I had to look at the controversial issues box and I looked through it and there was nothing on there that I could see that, um, that was in that video that went against anything in the controversial issues box. So I didn't tick it. Um, it was, I think there's something to do with um, minors and things like that and abuse and that sort of stuff. But there was nothing like that, that in the video. So I didn't tick the box. So I ended up just doing what I normally do and I just ticked all of them. And the video was fine for, like I say, it was fine for up until from seven o'clock on Sunday up until about 10 o'clock when it had 7,000 views. And let me know if you saw it and if, if, if uh, what do you think? I was just letting people think that I was just letting people talk. That's all I was doing in the video. And like I say, there's so many other videos out there that have way more, way, way more controversial issues than what I was talking about there. And the, the sort of stuff you can see is quite brutal on, on YouTube. And, and really, this was just a bunch of people just with their views, a little bit wacky, you know, a little bit, I said they were a little bit, a little bit, a little bit like that, you know, so, so that's what it was, and um, I'm just showing you some pictures now of some of the things that came up, um, some of the, the warnings I got and things like that. So it was a little bit of a shock, I have to say. A little bit of a shock, because in, in, in some ways I'm not really that surprised, because the video itself was a little bit different. I was going out there and I was letting people who hold views outside of the mainstream, I was letting them rip, basically. So... Um, in that in that case, I'm not I'm not really that surprised. But you know, when when you do see what else passes on on YouTube, you know it, uh, it it's a little bit surprising. Then it's a little bit disappointing. But uh, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and turn it around. So what I could do is I could upload the video to another platform and see if that works. So if I do that, I'll let you know. <clears throat> I'm not going to contest it. I'm not going to try to contest it. I'm just going to let it go. We'll, we'll, we'll forget about the video on YouTube. And I can't even upload it and put it to private. I can't do that either because anything you upload to YouTube, YouTube see it. So they see it. So it's still on their server. So I can't even do that either. So the best way, best thing to do is to probably um, just let it go from YouTube and then just try and upload it somewhere else. So, and then just try and try and maybe do some fish and chip reviews to weather review, weather, weather videos, that sort of thing. And just try and keep out of trouble and try not to say anything controversial. Try not to say any trigger words for 90 days, 90 days. Yeah, because if I do anything else within 90 days, I'm, I'm going to get, I'm going to get banned for a week. So, uh, yeah, I've got to be careful. So let's have a little look at Stanley Park while, uh, oh yeah, just before I wrap up this video, just look at this, isn't it amazing? Quite a nice day today as well. Lots of kids in the park enjoying the, enjoying it. See the clock tower over there. The focal point. We've got the pond in the middle. Yeah. So let me know what you think in the comments. Was it unfair of YouTube for banning, taking my video down? It is their platform, remember? Well, they can do what they want. But there is a free speech issue going on here. And... It does seem like we are being a little bit uh, suppressed. I'm just going to make it up here towards the... Uh, let's have a look at the lake, shall we? Oh, look at this. I don't come here very often, do I, Stony Park? I should come here more often, but look at this now. This is the lake terrace. It says there on the sign. Look, look at that. Isn't it amazing? The bandstand over there as well. I'll tell you what, it's kicking off here at Stanley Park with the with the ducks here and the geese over there. Yeah. But anyway, that was just a little video just to let you know what happened to that video, which was taken down by YouTube. Was it fair? Let me know in the comments. If there's anything I've missed, just uh, put it in the comments box and I'll try and answer 
the question but you won't see that video on youtube now but if i do manage to upload it somewhere else and it gets passed then um, that's what i'll do so look out for that i'll let you know right here but anyway that's it for this video um i'm gonna have to try and not be too controversial now aren't i well, i tell you what it's kicking off here with the crows here in blackpool you know, I think of all the videos I've done, controversial videos in the past, and they've been all right, and then I do that one there. A bunch of people talking in, in Lytham, and uh, it gets taken down, but there you go, that's it, that's life. Uh, that's it for this video, a quick, just a quick one for you, just to let you know what's going on. Let me know what you think in the comments, and if you like the video, hit the like button, and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos, and I'll see you again on the next one.